Okay, before I start today's little setup, guys, for a retro bat, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Helps my channel a great deal, plus it gets you upstate retro emulation as I release it. So for those of you who's been with my channel now for some time, you'll know that I've pretty much done retro bat to death. <laughs> At least around 100 in 10 setup guides for retro bat as I'm recording this video. Uh, so there's actually one I've not yet covered, and there's many more to cover, but I'm going to release those time to time. So the one I'm going to be showing you what to do with today is actually Image Viewer within RetroBat. So this is going to be a RetroArch core, which is going to support this. So first of all, what I'm going to recommend you do is go over to the RetroArch Libretro image viewer and the information is just here. Now, like I said, RetroBat is going to be running this image viewer core. So extensions are going to be as listed, .jpg, .jpg again, spelled differently, uh, .png, .bmp, and so on. So these are the files that we need in order to start filling up our library within RetroBat. So being a Commodore 64 geek, like most of you probably know I am at this point, I've looked for images for Commodore 64 magazines, and of course they need to be in JPEG for this to work within uh, RetroBat and RetroArch. So I'm going to save an image, and I've got the first issue of Commodore format just here. So if I right click on the image, save image as, you'll notice under save as type, this is actually a JPEG. The file name is a bit all over the place, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just rename this file name to something like uh, Commodore Format Issue 1. And I'm guessing this one is from 1990, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly save that to my desktop. And I'm going to grab something really random, some uh, retro gaming related. So uh, Retro Gamer Magazine. And again, I now need to search for, say, a .png or a JPEG. Now, one of the covers here which stands out to me is Super Mario Bros. 3 just there. I used to love this game when I was little. Uh, so again, right click on the image, save image as. Now, this one's actually a .webp. Now, these are very annoying. You can't really do much with these uh, files. Um, we got another one here, and actually, interestingly, this was the Retro Gamer magazine I appeared in with my son um, a good few years ago. So I'm going to try this one. Right click on it, save image as, and again, we got another damn WebP. It's no good. Okay, so right click on this Nintendo Power, and we got a JPEG. So uh, Mario World, that's okay. I'm going to actually retitle this one Nintendo Power. So anyways, we've now gathered up a couple of images and they should be on my desktop, here they are. So what I'm going to do with these is go to my RetroBat shortcut, open file location, and you're going to find in there library. And this is where those images are going to go to. Now, the thing is with library is that you might assume that it might hold .pdf files, but it doesn't. Most of these are image only type files. Uh, so anyways, we put those into the library, and what we're going to do is just open up RetroBat. Okay, so just scroll over to library. And here we go. So there's no need to scrape anything. We got a uh, Commodore format issue one from 1990 and Nintendo Power. Now, if I select this, we can actually zoom it in. And if I press right and left, we can actually then start switching between images. So that's it then for today's little RetroBat setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, um, if there is something you're looking for uh, setup wise for RetroBat, do check out my RetroBat playlist. It's amazing how many people will ask me, 
can you do this can you do that and it's actually already in my retro bat playlist uh, like i said well over 100 setup guides at this point and of course when the new retro bat version 6 stable releases i'll be doing a full setup guide on that one too so anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content and also feel free to join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro Thank you.